Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. You know I love tile-based games. The fact that they have modular boards and the setup can always vary. No two games need be the same. I like that aspect. And today's game, it's very contemporary, but it almost has a classic feel to it. And it was easy to learn, which I really enjoy. It's for two to six players, ages 14 plus, and it plays between 45 to 75 minutes. It's brought to us by Spontaneously Combustible Games. It's PESS. Let's take a look at it. In the game, we have the main entrance for the house and a number of tiles that will make up the board. The game supports up to six players. Each player will receive a tile in their color. It will indicate the nest you're attempting to shut down. You have a queen and PESS. You'll also receive an exterminator, a trap, and a seal. On the player aid, it will have abilities, helping you or sometimes hindering you. We have turn order and available actions. There are modifier cards in the game that will appear in the toolbox deck. We have a D6 and a special die for the queen. Let's take a look at the setup and the gameplay. I've modified the setup just slightly so everything will fit in the video, but you'll still have an understanding of how it all works. Depending on the number of players, a certain amount of tiles will be removed from the game, and players will also lose a set amount of pests. The tiles are handed out, and beginning from the main entrance, players will take turns laying tiles and constructing the house. Like most tile-based games, the map has to make sense. Doorways leading to doorways, a door can't lead to a wall. By the third round of tile lane, players may finally play their nest room. The queen is placed in the nest room. Your exterminator starts at the front door. There are rules for laying initial pests for infestation. Three will go with the queen, the other four will be placed in adjoining rooms. You'll also receive four toolbox cards. The remainder of the deck will be set aside. We're ready to begin. There are two phases on a turn. The queen's turn and then the exterminator's turn. On the queen's turn, you will roll her die and one of three things will happen. Movement, summon, or populate. If it's movement, you will move in the direction indicated by the die through doors. The queen can move outside the house. Just see the rule book for how that's going to work. If it's summon, pests will move towards the queen in her current location, room by room. And if it's populate, she will spawn more pests. If you don't roll a pea, the queen will spawn anyway. One pest in the nest room another in her current location. When it comes to your exterminator's turn, you will receive one free move action at the beginning of your turn. It's forfeit if you choose to do a non-movement action first. Each player has two action points they can spend, and you have a number of options when it comes to what you're going to do in the game. Plan carefully because you have a lot to clean up in this house if you're going to win. You do have a number of actions at your disposal in the game, but plan carefully and use your toolbox cards wisely because action points don't accumulate. So you want to make sure you can do everything possible to clear the pests and win the game. During the game, you are able to mess with your opponents, but spend your action points wisely because in order to win, you have a lot you actually have to do in this house. In any order, you can seal the nest, eliminate all pests, capture the queen, and empty the trap. Do so, and you'll win. And that, my friends, is pests. I thought it was clever, and it was fun. As I said, easy to learn, and it does have that classic game feel to it, but it's contemporary enough that you're still going to enjoy it. I like the fact that the game beats you up by spawning all these pests constantly as you're trying to clean up the house, but watch out for your opponents because they may use some of their action points just to give you a little dig or two. I enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.